All right, this is the kind of pinnacle of rules of exponents. If you understand everything to this point and then can master rational exponents, uh, you know everything that I think you'd ever need to know about exponents other than logarithms and things like that later on. But in terms of the rules of exponents, this is all of them. So um, this is the toughest one, too, rational exponents. Uh, fractions are... Uh, when I think of I think of a fraction, one half, two thirds. So what happens when you have, you know, you know, treat x to the one half? Um, how do we treat uh, x to thirds? Um, you know, what is x to the five fourths? You know, uh, what is eight to the one third power? What is uh, um, four to the one-half power. You know, those are all numbers to a rational exponent. And so, hopefully, we can answer this question for you in a way that makes sense. Because I could just throw you up the formula, but it, it may not make any sense. So, uh, let's start out with maybe an example here. So, let's say in square roots. Let's just start with square roots. So, the square root of 3 to the 4th, because believe it or not, rational exponents go hand in hand with roots. 3 to the 4th, we know that is um, the square root of 81. We know that the square root of 81 is 9. Right? Well, we also know that 9 is 3 squared. Alright? So, you know, what happened there? Um, Square root of 3 to the 6th power. Let's try that. Not that I'm using 3. Maybe let's use uh, 2. Square root of 2 to the 6th power. Um, 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is... Uh, uh, 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. 32 times 2 is 64. So the square root, that's the square root of 64. And that would be 64 is uh, um, 8, which we know is 2 to the third power. So what's happening here is this 6 is being divided by 2 to get 3, and this 4 is being divided by 2 to get 2. Pretty interesting. Okay. Um, well, what it, what it turns out is that square root, there's really, we use it so often we don't put a number with it, but this is this, there's a little 2 here, and the same here, this is the, the square root of 2 to the 6th, um, the square root of 81, the square root of 64, because we could do the same, and if, hopefully at this point in your education you know where the cube root is. You know, the cube root of 27. Well, the cube root of 27 is 3. Um, you know, you can have fourth roots. Fourth root of 16 is 2. And so, because we know um, roots and exponents are inverses of each other. So, 2 to the uh, fourth is the same uh, as 16. So if we wanted to undo that, we would take the fourth root of 16, and that gives you the base of 2. So exponents and radicals go hand in hand. So let's get down to it. So what does all this mean? You know, and what does 8 to the 1 third mean? Well, 8 to the 1 third is the cube root of 8 to the first power. And we know the cube root of 8 is 2. If you don't know that, maybe you need to be on a different video and go learn about um, roots other than square roots, cube roots, uh, fourth roots, fifth roots, x roots, things like that. So that leads us to the formula, which in our case is z, uh, you know, picking anything, to the n over m, because I've been using that the whole time. Maybe I should, yeah, we'll just stick with z. Is equal to your root is your number out front, is your root, you know, m is your denominator right here. And then it goes z to the nth power. 
and so that you know essentially that's it so if you have say uh, 3 to the 2 thirds power and let's go 2 fifths so that you can kind of see that I got too many 3's going on there that would be the fifth root of 3 squared okay. and so radicals are your rational exponents and your calculator understands that if you if you wanted to do 8 to the 1 fifth that is the fifth root of 8 and if you type that in you'll come up with the decimal for the fifth root of 8 you know where this comes in handy um, is when you're trying to solve very uh, equations with um, an exponential in here. So let's say x to the third equals uh, uh, 21. Well, let's start with an easier one. Let's say x squared equals 25. You know, we know the answer is 5, uh, plus or minus 5, because that would be what would make it true. But, you know, to undo x squared, you would take the square root of both sides. And so x is uh, the square root of 25 which is 5 but because the square will make a negative positive because negative 5 times negative 5 is is positive 25 the negative 5 also works so you really have two answers in that case you know and and x to the third if you what you're doing is taking that to the cube root on both sides so your answer is x equals the cube root of 21 which is probably a na is a nasty irrational number maybe we could have stuck with um, x to the third equals uh, I hate to use 27 over and over again but uh, if you take the cube root of that the cube root of that is 3 and it and indeed if you plug you know if you go back to the original 3 to the third is 27 so we know that's true okay and how does this relate to to rational uh, exponents. Well, instead of instead of rooting that, let's say we wanted to, we had x to the third equals 27. Um, you could also use power to power and take it to the one third power to solve for x. And notice what happens. x to the first would equal 27 to the one third power. Okay, so x would equal the cube root of 27 and x would equal 3. And so that's essentially a rational exponent. Uh, there's, you know, there's a lots and lots of places where we use this. Like for instance in an exponential equation y equals a times b to the x. And This is how money grows. The exponent typically means time so we, you know, in a bank note, you might not go a full year. You might go one and a half years, and so your growth rate might look something like this: a times b to the three halves power for one and a half years. And so we know that this is a square root, and this is to the third power. So those are some things that you need to be thinking of. The thing is, if it's a denominator, it's a radical. So um, if you had the uh, fourth root of x to the third power, uh, hopefully you're starting to figure out that would be x to the three fourths. So, I mean, that I'll probably redo this video, but that, that hopefully gives you an idea. I'm not very happy with how I explained that, but at least it gets you started. And uh, I'll do some thinking to make it maybe more make more sense to you. But uh, the bottom line, this is your root of your radical. This is your exponent. When it, and so um, there you have it. And good luck, and I hope it helped. Uh, 
best I can do at 10 o'clock at night on a Sunday. So good luck and see you next time.